Come at me, bro. Joe bro. <laughs> Maybe that was Joe bro. Reincarnated as a buzzard. Oh, okay, this is where things get a little bit hairy. Um, ugh. there we go. Uh, this has uh, landmines on it, too. Oh, shit! And welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series. Let me make a quick adjustment right here. Uh, where we play this game on insane difficulty, the zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the wasteland biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. Um, and it is Horde Night 91. So, uh, what I have planned for this episode, what we're ultimately going to do, is um, we're going to go do our, uh, well, it'll be my second tier 4 quest. I did, I did the waterworks. Uh, and but now I got the skyscraper four. Uh, let's take a look and see uh, where that's actually at too. So tier four clear. All right, so it's gonna be. Yeah, I don't recognize that building uh, just from looking at it from here. So yeah, that might actually be a building that we haven't that I've never done. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. So we'll check it out. But that's kind of the main goal for this episode. Um, I've done two Horde Night episodes now where I pretty much recorded the whole thing. So I think what we're going to do tonight is I'll probably just, uh, I might time lapse it and then just, you know, put in when it's over for those of you who don't want to watch it again. Uh, and, but for those of you who do, uh, we'll do a time lapse. I don't know. We'll see. Either that or I'll, I'll probably just cut it, you know, show you the beginning and the very end. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, we got to get moving here. So, uh, we got explosives already down there but i'm just making a few more you know just so we have plenty I, we probably have enough down there already and uh but we're making a little bit more now one of the things i wanted to do is i've got four cans of dog food here and i want to make uh, some learning elixir uh, so let's see we need red tea acid and beer and we're gonna drink that shit oh my goodness <laughs> okay so we got the beer the red tea and the acid and i believe we have to make that in here Whoops. All right, so let's get two of those made. Good. It only takes uh, five seconds to make it. And um, we're doing really good on food. The garden is almost... What the hell's going on out here? Uh, the garden is almost completely um, filled up. Oh, did we get our... We must have got a running horde come through here. Now let's deal with these guys. off with his head uh, but anyway as you can see uh, I'm still working on potatoes so let's kill those guys uh, still working on on potatoes but I got a full row of pumpkins two full uh, rows of corn I think everything but mushrooms um, is is completely filled up so uh, we're doing really good uh, with the food uh, also, I am, I'm getting close, uh, I'm making, I'm making just a boatload of money. What I've basically been doing, uh, we've got over 80,000 dukes here, uh, cause I have a little bit of money in the Jeep too. Oh, speaking of which, I did finally make the Jeep. I did mention to you in the last episode that we would, uh, I would be making that off camera. So we have our Jeep now. Yay. So much more storage space. Um, but, uh, I'm also, you know, getting close to, um, that's awesome sauce, yeah. I'm getting close to, to trying out a respec. Um, so that's coming up to, we, we're just about to the next level. And of course, you know, we're going to wear our nerdy glasses. And how long does this last? Duration, of, oh, it's only four minutes, really? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, for eight minutes of the Horde Night anyway, we'll get that 20% boost. And like I said, we got the nerdy glasses on. So hopefully, um, I'd like to see if we can get three levels today. Well, I, I'm expecting at least two for sure. Uh, maybe even three since we're so close already um and then what we're doing is we're working on uh i i'm kind of finished with fortitude for the moment uh we could definitely use some more pain tolerance but what i think i want to do is i want to go back to perception and i want to get perception up to seven okay um so i already got one point that i'm sitting on and we're about ready to get the next point and that way i can max out lucky looter and salvage these are very important uh, uh, to, you know, this particular playthrough, because salvaging gas is the only way we can get gas. 
And then um, I'll, I'll put a fourth point into demolitions uh, so we're that much more effective with uh, our explosions and we can make a blue rocket launcher if we decide you know, to, to do that for a little bit. And then after that, we'll kind of see, you know, where we're at. <clears throat> I, I'm, I, I'm still, I mean, I don't really care about lock picking so much n now. But if we go, you know, if we decide to make a stealthy character, you, you know, it's not very stealthy to take an auger <laughs> and bust open a safe. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyway, all right, we got to get rolling here. So let's see here. I want to make sure I've got. I, I'm pretty sure I've got some. What's that doing up there? Pretty sure I got some first aid. Uh, already at the base, but let's take an extra thing of it with us. Uh, we do have another dog food, which is good. Uh, we're doing pretty good on food. Let's go ahead and let's have a taco. Well, actually, no, it's too soon for that. We'll just bring a taco with us. Well, you know what? Let's not. I know I'm a little bit indecisive here. I don't want to, you know, take the risk of getting food poisoning right in the middle of the horde night. So we'll just stick with the sham. Uh, what in the hell? Is this like a new running horde or what? Hold still. I don't know if those guys were part of the same horde and they had just dispersed or what. Any more? Huh. Okay, anyway. So let's just grab uh, whatever explosives we currently have made. I've got a bunch of 762s and, and again, I have more of that stuff back at the uh, down at the horde base too. So we're in pretty good shape. Want to make sure we got plenty of repair kits, which we do. And I think uh, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. So let's head on down there. It's so nice having a having a, gar a full garden or almost a full garden. <laughs> it will be probably the, after the next uh, harvest. And you know when we do the respec, you know once I have the garden completely full, I'm probably only gonna put two points into living out the land. And I know if I do that, we're only going to harvest, you know, two uh, fruits, you know, per um, per plant. But I just don't want to, I just don't want to put two more points into that. Uh, I'd rather save those, you know, for something else. So we can, you know, we can uh, invest that maybe in something more combat related. Um. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say maybe I should leave a couple things up there that we don't need, but I'll just keep them in the chest down here. Okay, so Horde Night ninety one. Uh, but basically, guys, this is gonna be wash, rinse, and repeat. We're gonna do the same exact thing we did the last two Horde Nights. Basically, just drop. Uh, oh, I did. There is something else I wanted to show you. I did. Um. I added more electric fences. Uh, into our our design here uh, But yeah, basically we're gonna blow the horde up I'm gonna try and stay on top of the cops with the m60 as best as I can but see I added uh, horizontal Wires because I've I noticed that you know when when the zombies fall down here if sometimes they kind of Pile up and bump each over uh, other to the side and sometimes you know They were going through this area and they weren't hitting the fence So this this should almost guarantee that every zombie that falls through there is gonna get zapped uh, by the electric fences well, uh, that's a plan anyway. So, uh, otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much the same same thing. And uh, like I said, we're going to pop those learning elixirs, and hopefully we will uh, be able to get, <clears throat> I, I'm absolutely certain we'll get at least two levels, uh, and maybe three, I don't know. The thing is, is you know, as you guys probably know, uh, the higher we level, the longer it takes to get to the next level. So it kind of expands exponentially, so we'll see. Um, anyway, we don't need this or this or this or this on our toolbar so we'll take that stuff off uh we're not going to use the junk turret which i left in the jeep anyway so that's kind of a moot point uh we'll keep the knife you know the shotgun doesn't really help us uh either because it's just it's too far down there for us to use it effectively so there's no point in keeping that in our inventory uh we will keep the repair gun but we don't need the sledgehammer so we're basically going to just use these two uh, as far as weapons go uh, we don't need the wrench so i want to keep the frames in my inventory and then we're just going to put 
Do I have any Molotovs? Don't look like we're completely out of Molotovs. Okay, so I'm just going to have two uh, pipe bombs and one grenade on uh, the toolbar. We'll save the lucky looters for the end of the show so that we can uh, use those for any bags that are left over. And we do want to make sure we have electrical parts and iron and steel uh, in our inventory, well, and concrete too, uh, for repairs. Okay, I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and load up. I think we have enough 7.62s. Uh, so let's just load up on nades and pipe bombs. And this should be an explosive evening for sure. Is there anything else? <clears throat> Let's grab another one of those. And yeah, I think we're pretty good, pretty, pretty set, pretty good to go here. Just trying to think if there's anything else I should keep in my inventory right now. I don't think so, though. I think we're okay. Maybe what I'll do is let's let's go ahead and, and uh, keep that in our inventory well i don't know why should we i don't know well i, I will because <laughs> i don't have any more explosives to put in anyway so <clears throat> excuse me okay well guys um yeah i what i'll do is i'll just bring you back at the start of horde night um keep you for you know a couple the first couple of minutes or so uh then we're going to time lapse the rest of the hard night and then uh, I'll bring you back uh, out the in the morning just to kind of see, you know, how much XP and stuff we got. And then we'll probably cut the camera up and then I'll meet you out at the skyscraper for that tier four quest. So that is the plan. All right, guys, I will be back uh, when Horde Night starts. Don't go away. All right, guys, here we go. Horde 91. Let's see if we can get three levels tonight. I'm going to wait until let them build up. Then we'll pop the elixir and then we'll... Go to town. Oh shit, we got a cop already. Where'd he go? More cops. Got one spit there. I don't really care about the spit so much, I just don't want them to blow up the other zombies because then I lose the XP. Ah, shit. <laughs> that, that, that damage all came from just the fences. Ah, oh, man, we lost all that XP. Son of a bitch. Wow. Okay. These, these electric fences are doing some damage, aren't they? Yeah, because, I, I mean, I was loading my weapon. I didn't even get a, a shot off on that cop. He just blew up. There's another one. They look like normal cops, too. They're not like irradiated or anything. There's two of them right there. Come on over here, boys. Let me kill you. No, no, no. Don't blow up. I thought they were down. Okay, well, here, let's go ahead and pop this and get started. I'm going to do the original plan where we're going to throw four or five of these down and then ignite them with a nade. 21,000 XP. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so we basically have a 30% boost in XP with Grandpa's Elixir in uh, the glasses that we're wearing. Was that a copper? No. Oh, there's two cops. No exploding. Ah, one of them still exploded. 18,000 XP with that deal. Alright guys, well, anyway, um, this is pretty much what we're going to do all night long. So, uh, I will time lapse this and bring you back in the morning. And we'll go from there.
Crap. All right, guys. It is uh, morning. Yeah, you stupid cop. Go ahead and blow up. We almost got three levels. I mean, look how close we came. Technically, though, we were already pretty close to the to the first level. So, really, I think two levels is about what we can expect uh, to get moving forward. You know, because we keep getting higher in our levels, and it takes takes longer and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Very successful Horde Knight. Again, I just kept the explosives up all night long, pretty much. We went through all of our pipe bombs and a good portion of the nades, but we got quite a few grenades left, and pipe bombs are so cheap to make. Um, so let's just finish these hosers off here. Okay, he's dead, and... Got him. All right, cool. Let's put our our luckies on, and we'll go down and check the bags. I had to move my 
Oh, we should probably turn this off, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think that was a little, little more effective with the uh, fences. You know, having the extra fences. All right, let's see what we get. Pain pills... stuff... Oh, we've got a new Fireman's Almanac. Uh, craft Fireman Helmets and take 5% left damage when wearing them. Hmm. Okay. Some ammunition, a radiator... Oh, come on, a glass of water? What the hell? Alright, that's a little bit better stuff. Um... Let's see here. Let's get rid of this. Let's drink this. I'm just going to scrap that. Yeah, that's barely worth hanging on to, repairing and selling. Let's just use this right now. Uh, that's probably worth... Yeah, that's definitely worth hanging on to and selling. Uh, let's also consume this. I'm just, I've, I've started just doing that for those because it's just, I don't get, you don't make that much money and it's not really worth the uh, inventory space. Okay, we definitely want those and that's worth fixing up and selling. And this is the final thing. Uh, let's just replace it with those and we can scrap these. Okay, very good. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my usual repairing uh, on the base, so it's ready to go for the next time, and then I will meet you uh, at our quest location, which is here, and we'll get started on it, but uh, there's no <clears throat> there's no way we're going to be able to, to do this whole thing uh, in one episode, and I, I, I don't even know how big, you know, this supposed skyscraper is, so it might even take more than that, but uh, we'll get started on it anyways in this episode, and then we'll, we'll probably have to resume it or continue it uh, in the next episode. All right, so I will see you over at the skyscraper. All right, guys, we are back, and it uh, turns out that this tier four quest is the Joe Bros skyscraper. I haven't actually done this PO in a very long time, uh, so this ought to be interesting. All right, let's see. If we... It's kind of quite a bit of work to get all the way up there, so I don't think I'm going to double loot. I think we're just going to go ahead and do this as is. One thing I should really have on me is a... Um, I should have a splint or ten on me, because this is definitely a splint POI. That's something else was behind me. Uh, but to do that, we would need to have, um... I killed a wolf on the way over here. We would need... Uh, you know what? I don't think these are going to do us much good either for this particular POI. Uh, we, anyway, what I was saying is we would need to have some duct tape to do that. And we don't. So, all right. Well, let's just let's just do it. Here we go. Joe Bros. I'll take that concrete. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I actually did a Horde Knight, an Alpha 17 uh, on here. It's, it's, it's on my YouTube channel, too. And it was... <laughs> It was crazy, man. We were we were up on the top of the crane at one point. I mean, we were kind of all over the place during the horde night, but at one point we'd gotten on top of the crane, and then they, they took it down, and I, I came crashing all the way down. And I had my bike uh, out on the street there, and I actually managed to get to the bike and escape. I didn't die. I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure I was toast, so it was pretty crazy. Okay, this is not going well. Take the medipack, pack, quick. Now, where did you come from? Can I get back out here? Whew. Um, let's take another beer. And... Oh, no! They're tearing it apart down below! Oh, no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh, Bubba! Oh, no! This is crazy! This is crazy! I'm out of here. <laughs> Pretty crazy. There's gonna be lots of construction workers here. Uh, oh shit. That is a lot of construction workers. I think it's time to bring this guy out. Good lord. Let's get the hell out of here, buzzard. Whew, okay. 6,000 XP from all that. Oh, speaking of which, we, uh, we got some points we've got to uh, take care of. Not gonna take that. Uh, we're gonna scrap this just to keep all brass in one slot. We don't need that anymore. We've got a full row of aloe vera back at the garden. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick look at this. So I've got, oh shit, five points. Wait a minute. Did we get more points on Horde Knight than I thought we did? We must have. I had one that I was sitting on. I thought we'd only gotten three more. 
So I was expecting this to be four. I'm not complaining. I'm just confused as to how I got five. Did, did we actually go up another level more than I thought we did on Horde Night? That's the only thing I can think of. Huh. Okay, well, that's good. That's actually really good. Crap. Uh, alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and deal with these yahoos. There used to be a, a trap door down there. I guess they changed that. I, I, I think I've been in this POI in Alpha 18, but I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. All, all I can say is it's been a very long time uh, since I've done it. There we go. So, you know, like everything else that they carried over from Alpha 17, uh, you know, they, they're, they're the same POI, but they, you know, make changes to them kind of thing. Okay, let's see. We got a safe in here. Blueberry pie. Very nice. Two safes in here. Nice. Okay, um, let's temporarily block this door. And I'm going to use my... I don't have any lockpicks on me, so I'm going to use my master key here to open these suckers up. Are we wearing luckies now? Let's get our luckies on. Okay. Decent stuff. Yeah, careful. Don't break the block or we'll lose the safe. All right, cool. Now, um, let's put these back on. And so what my plan for perception was, I, I mentioned this, um, I think in the last episode or maybe at the beginning of this episode, is we want to get this up to seven. And that's still just one point. Uh, and I wanted to put that next point in to demolitions, but I also want to get these two up. So, you know, we don't, we don't really need demolitions until the next Horde Night. So I'll just plan on making sure that I put that in there before the next Horde Night. I think what is going to serve us best right now is Lucky. Then we'll probably do Salvage, and then we'll do Demo. Now, the other thing we could do, too, is we could consider putting some points in the Penetrator, because then, you know, then we start ignoring armor on the enemies, which is just going to make us even, you know, that much stronger. And hey, this is still kind of tempting to me. I don't know. I, based upon my build and playstyle, though, I, I don't know. I don't really, really need to, to do that. Okay, anyway, let's get going. Uh, we're going to have to split this episode up, too, because there's no way I'm going to finish this. Uh, in this episode, so we'll, we'll get started. How much time we got? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll keep you with me for maybe another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll have to split it up and do the rest of the next episode. So, let's see. Let's go check this out here. Oh, look, perception glasses. Very nice. Very nice. In fact, I think I already have some of those. Whoa. That's a snake. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. He's like, oh, I see where he is. Okay, here. let's grab that. We might have, we might have disintegrated him. Yeah, if you, if you hit snakes and buzzards and even dogs, uh, really close with a shotgun, they will go poof. Alright, these are just normal tinnies. Uh, I'm just gonna scrap those. Let's scrap this. So this is how we get up there, as I recall. But this is a clear, so we, uh, we gotta make sure everything's dead. So if there's any more sleepies down below, we gotta kill him first. Oh, what was that? Beef ration, lamb ration, whatever, chicken... What are the rations? <laughs> okay, I think we have cleared everything down below. Is that dog coming from outside? Yeah, he is. See? Disintegrate. <laughs> Another one. He's, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so let's see. We gotta get up here. I think we actually do we have to jump over from the. Yeah, I think we have to jump over from the trailer here. Alright, he's got it. here. We can sniper doodle. Wow, look at how many dudes we woke up. There's more down here. Did they? Oh, they must have dropped down from up above. All right. Well, you know what? This might be a good time for one of these. Well, that softened him up anyway. Hold still. Probably be using the AK because it's just a little bit far out of range for the uh, for the shoddy. There we go. Had to uh, play a K for a second there. Got him. Okay, so let's continue. I remember the first time I did this, uh, it was actually in Alpha 16. And uh, it was like pretty cool. 
Because that's, uh, you know, that's kind of around the time when they started doing dungeon types. Uh, in fact, I think this was one of the first quote-unquote dungeons in this game that they did. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Always, always cool to do this one. You gotta be careful, too, because the higher up we get... Okay, you know what? There's, uh, there's some duct tape right there. Let's make a splint. The higher up you get, you know, the more dangerous it gets, both not, not only in terms of the zombies, but, you know, potentially falling down, too. All right. I'm not gonna take that. Okay, we got nasties. See all the red dots. Oh, those are showing down below. They're counting the buzzer? Oh, that's probably a buzzard that was up here that we aggroed. Yeah. Gotcha. You know what? If, if we really hustle, I might be able to knock this out. We, this might be just a little bit longer episode than normal. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe we can we can do it. So we gotta kill all these buzzards because this is a clear quest. Where'd he go? He's flying around down below there. There he is. Okay, that takes care of all the currently aggroed baddies. So let's get up here. That hurts, doesn't it? That, that hurts too. Oh, that really hurts. Ouch. That hurts. And that hurts. Would you like a hurts, don't it? What the hell? Oh. Where are you guys coming from? We still have our luckies on? No, let's get our luckies on. Water. Water's good. Water's good. Alright, we gotta kill this guy. Or these guys, rather. There we go. You're still not dead? Jeez. Just die, why don't you? Alright, let's see. We should pop one of these. That we're just gonna scrap. This is probably just something stupid like a toilet or an oven. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Okay, um, let's go this direction. And then up here. What in the hell? Where, where are you going? I'm right here. Okay, well, here's somebody else. He's down below us. He's all the way down now. Got him. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, the, the general layout of this is still the same as it was in 16 and 17. It's a couple of minor differences, but... Come at me, bro. Joe bro. <laughs> Maybe that was Joe bro. Reincarnated as a buzzard. Oh, okay, this is where things get a little bit hairy. Um, ugh, there we go. Don't want to jump. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, right, this has a... Uh, this has a landmine on it, too. Oh, shit! Ow! All right. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we made one of these, right? Okay. Um, I'll meet you guys back up where we where I fell. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I think let's just nerd pull because yeah, I guess what I was I forgot about that. I guess I was supposed to jump over that landmine. That is a long ways up there, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Crash. Crash, crash, crash. We will nerd pull up there. <laughs> Look at all this crap iron. Goodness gracious. There's a lot of bad guys. Okay, here. Let's go all the way up to here. Let's 
give him a little something to think about. Didn't go too terribly bad. Looks like we got one Zeker down below uh, that got away from us that we're gonna have to kill. Um, all right, let's let's finish out uh, the the dungeon itself. Get to the fat loots, and then we'll um. No, oh, thank you. Okay, we got another buzzer flying around here somewhere. That landmine killed me the very first time I came in here too. Like it probably did just about anybody else. Now, uh... This isn't the room with the false floor. No, I think it's the one down below. Oh, look. There was a, uh... A splint. Buzzer's making me nervous. Okay, let's put the luckies on. Okay, one Zeker left. You know what I'll, I'll probably end up doing? Of course, you guys will already know this by now. <laughs> uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll time-lapse um, this, just so, I, you know, just so the video doesn't get too long, because I know we're like way over time as it is. All right, that's pretty decent stuff. Let's see, what are we going to sacrifice? I don't want to come back up here. So we can eat this now. That gives us one slot. Uh, we don't need those. That gives us two, and uh, 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 we can probably get rid of theirs. Wait, what do we just do? Scrap, scrap. Oh, here, yeah, we don't need that. Could've scrapped it, but whatever. Um, a couple of boxes here. That's just, uh, appliances and whatnot. Okay, so we've got one more dude to kill. Um, we want... You're... Are you new? What the hell? Alright. Where did he come from? Give him a double whammy. Is he still not dead? Oh, unbelievable. Now he is. <laughs> Uh, we still have one more dude to kill. So, let's see. Let's go back up here. Uh, that did kind of hurt a little bit, but not too terribly bad. We'll take a small bandage for that. Didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Now, this room down in here has a, a false floor, I believe, that you usually fall down through. Oh, look at that. And break your leg. Oh, whoa, I just about fell. That was really close. Can't quite get to him from there. Okay, return to trader. Alright, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna return to trader, and I will bring you back when we get back to the trader, just so you can see what the reward is, and then we'll uh, wrap it up from there. So, see you at the trader. Okay, let's see what this guy has for us. Your money is welcome here. Well earned. Traveler. Steel well, boots for twelve ninety six. Very nice. Um, and I think we're wearing yellow or green anyway. So come back tomorrow. Oh, we get uh, let's. We don't need this now. Okay. So what are we, what we're wearing is actually better than uh, than these. This, this has better durability, but, uh, yeah, you know what, then? Screw that. Well, I guess the only other thing, though, is this does gives us one, give us one more mod slot. So if we put a plate mod in it, it would get the armor rating up. And we have a little more durability. Eh, hmm, I don't know. I'll think about that. Uh, let's take the next job, too, by the way. Uh, so just going to continue doing clears. Well, you know what, though? This fetch is very close. And is going to be here in town. So, yeah, you know what? Let's try that. We'll try that one. All right, guys. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, one, one of the things I'm going to do, um, just to give you a heads up, is I'm going to um, I'm going to finish going through all the POIs in town here. I've been kind of doing that off camera. 
Um, I've done most of them, but uh, I'll probably finish doing that now, um, in between now and the next episode. And um, so that way, you know, because it's time, I think it's time for us to go into the city and start, you know, hitting it, hitting it like, you know, we've, we've been planning on doing all along. So probably the, the uh, I'll finish this town, you know, get everything looted here. And then uh, when I bring you back in the next episode, we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be in the city. Uh, that, that's the plan, at least for, for this point. Uh, the one POI I'm not going to do off camera, though, is, of course, the Shamway Factory. Because that place is dangerous as all get out. It's a tier 5 uh, dungeon. So that one, we, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do on camera. But everything else here in town, I'm just going to go ahead and, and finish doing all those POIs and getting that out of the way. And then we can, uh, then our focus will be on the city. Because, you know, we've there's nothing else to do. I mean, we've built our base. We've built our horde base. Uh, we've got our garden going, and uh, so it's time, yeah, time for us to, to get hit that city and get going on it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.